Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find the value of n that satisfies this equation. This is negative 9 to the power of n and this equals 9. So, we are going to start by replacing this negative 9 here with negative 1 times 9. Of course, negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. So we have negative 1 times 9 raised to the power of n is equals 9. Now, the next step will be to apply this identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this is just like writing i. Let's imagine number i. So if I decide to take this squares, of both part of this equation, or both part of this identity, this cancel this, meaning that I will simply have negative 1 here, is the same thing as writing i to the power of 2. So, we have negative 1 here. We are going to replace this with imaginary number i raised to the power of 2. So, what we are simply going to have is i to the power of 2 times 9 raised to the power of n equals 9. Now, at this point, we can make use of log. I take the log of i to the power of 2 times 9 raised to the power of n equals log 9. Now, from here, if you have log a raised to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So this is like a, this is b. So the n will come behind this, which represents this b. So you have n times log i power 2 times 9 equals log 9. Now we also have this other identity. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So this represents our a, this represents our b. Right? So I can decide to have n, let me make use of square brackets. That will be my log what is a? a is i power 2 plus log what is my b? b is 9 and this equals log 9. Now that is not all. Remember we still have log a power b right here. So this is just like writing b times log a. So the 2 here will come behind this. That means we are simply going to have n times this is 2 times log i plus log 9. And this equals log 9. I can still simplify this further because this log 9 can express it as log to the power 2. Remember 9 is 3 to the power of 2. I have n times this is 2 times log i plus log to the power 2 equals log 9. Let me leave it that way there. Or let me also leave it as log 3 power 2 here. Right? So we go back to the same identity log a power b equals b times log a. So the 2 also will come behind the log. We will simply have n times this is 2 times log i plus 2 times log 3 equals 2 times log 3. At this point, what are we going to do? 
there is two here. There is two here. I can factor it out. I can have two times n. This is log i plus log 3 equals to log 3. Right? So let's solve for n. I divide this by log i plus log 3. I divide this by log i plus log 3. This cancel this. So what I'm going to have is simply 2n equals 2 log 3 divided by log i plus log 3. So, we want to isolate n, then I divide this by 2, divide by 2, right? So this, cancel this, we have n equals, this is 2 log 3, divided by, this is log i plus log 3, times, this is just like writing 1 over 2. Changing this to multiplication, I have 1 over 2. Okay, so we have n equals 2 log 3 divided by 2 log, this is i plus log 3. Have you seen that? So from here, the 2 here, can cancel the 2 here, we have n equals log 3 divided by log i plus log 3. We leave it this way. So this is our answer. Now, let's consider another method of solving this interesting exponential problem. We go by again, negative 9 power n equals 9. So, I start with the same method. I replace negative 9 with negative 1 times 9. So this will be negative 1 times 9 power n equals 9. And don't forget the fact that if you have a times b raised to the power of c equals a power c times b power c. We apply this right here. We are simply going to have this is negative 1 power n times 9 power n equals 9. If that is the case, let's consider this identity. If you have a power i times pi plus 1 equals 0, Meaning that if I move this one over here, I have e power i times pi equals negative 1. So negative 1 here equals e power i times pi. So let's replace it right now. We are going to have e power i times pi raised to the power of n times 9 power n equals 9. From here, you have a power b raised to the power of c equals a power b times c. You multiply this exponent out. You have e power i times pi times n times 9 power n equals 9. At this point, I can make use of natural log of natural log of e power i times pi times n times natural log of n equals natural log of 9. Now remember, in the parameter, we made use of this identity. If you have log a times b equals log a plus log b, this is my a, this is my b. So, that means natural log a times b equals natural log a plus natural log b. So that means we are simply going to have 
natural log e power i times pi times n plus natural log 9 power n equals natural log 9. So from here, if you have natural log of a power b is equal to the natural log of a. So i pi n will come behind this and will come behind this. So what you are going to have will be i times pi times n times natural log of b plus n times natural log of 9 equals natural log of 9. And it is worthy to note that natural log of e here is 1. So we have i times pi times n plus n times natural log of 9 equals natural log of 9. So right now, I have n here, I have n here, I have n times this divided by n, I have i times pi plus natural log of 9 equals natural log of 9. So what next? Remember, we can have natural log of 9 equals natural log of 3 to the power of 2. Don't forget that. So this will simply give us n times i times pi plus this is natural log of 3 to the power of 2 equals natural log of 3 to the power of 2. So from here, and don't also forget that natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. So the two come behind this, the two come behind this. So what you are going to have is n times i times pi plus 2 times natural log of 3 equals 2 times natural log of 3. So from here, we are solving for n. We divide this by i times pi plus 2 times natural log of 3. We divide this by i times pi plus 2 times natural log of 3. This cancel this. So what we are going to have is that n equals 2 times natural log of 3 divided by i times pi plus 2 times natural log of 3. So, this becomes our answer based on this. Look at the difference between this. The other one was we had, or uh, this was our log of 3 divided by, let me confirm the answer, log i plus log 3, right? So we have log i plus log 3. Do you know the difference? The difference is here. This is i times pi, and this is log i. This is log i. So, this is what brought the difference. Remember, the coefficients here was lost because here we do not have the coefficient of 2. So it is worthy to note that i pi is the same thing as 2 times ln i. 2 times ln i is the same thing as having log i. 2 times natural log of i is the same thing as having natural log of i. So this represents this. Which represent this. So if you easily replace this i pi with 2 times ln i, this will satisfy this. Or since we are not making use of natural log, yeah, that's why we are making use of i. So log i is the same thing as 2 times natural log of i, which is the same thing as i pi. So that is just the difference. Now you know how to solve that using different methods logarithm and natural logarithm. You have the same thing. So Guys, in any of the methods that you want to use, you have the same approach, the same answer. 
as long as you know how to manipulate your weights and make use of those identity, in fact, the logarithm and natural logarithm identities. Those are what you make use of that will enable you to get the answers irrespective of the method that you want to use. So guys, that is how we can solve this and I believe you enjoyed this video. A quick recall is simply expressing this in terms of negative 1 times 9 and you ensure to get rid of that negative 1. In this case, we make use of e power i times pi in order to eliminate negative there. So from there, we substitute negative 1 with e power i times pi. After that one, we make use of natural log. Then, with some properties of natural log and log, we were able to split it into two parts. Then, we ensure to factor out n from here. And at this particular point, we made and the subject of this equation we give variable sides by the same quantity in order to isolate n and we have our answers answer here so guys this is it this is how you can actually solve this and i've demonstrated the difference what caused the difference so that is it thank you and goodbye